Mine Rage Island Tier 2 Fastest Dungeon Completion and Boss Mechanics Explained In the first part you will kill the four goblins closest to the wooden gate before destroying it. In the next part you will clear all monsters and then in the follow up you want to hit all goblins low life and let the player with the red mark above his head kill the mob only he sees. This prevents the heavy AoE damage from happening. Next up is the brain test. You will need to remember your colored symbol above your head and then select the same colored symbol on the stone pillar. To make it easier for your group, only run towards the pillar if you are 100% certain. If not, rather wait until other players step forward so you can narrow down your decisions. The next part you just clear as fast as possible until you face the Goblin Bomber mini boss. He has three different mechanics you need to be aware of. The first one is the red circle around your character. Try to stay by yourself so you don't AOE damage your teammates and you can block the incoming damage. The second one is the giant bomb he places in the middle of the platform which will force you to jump with the hook to the next platform. The third one is a spawn of bombs that can be moved by attacking them, so make sure to knock them away far enough that your team has enough space to keep damaging the boss. Congrats, you have made it to the final boss. And unlock the Black Friday sale on Starforge Systems, where you can get up to $400 off your next gaming PC. Use the link in the description and don't let hardware hold back your performance. Gaitan will start the fight out with a whirl attack that you can dodge by not standing in melee range. He then follows up with binding four players to pillars. He will focus one pillar at a time with a pizza AOE attack. You will need to dodge those until he destroys your pillar then you are free again. If you dodge at counterclockwise, you will not get stunned. To increase the difficulty while this is happening, one person will be marked with an axe above its head and this person gets followed around by a flame AOE. So this person should try to avoid luring this AOE into people bound to pillars. Now comes the reaction check. Gaitan will use the Wrath charge attack multiple times in a row, always targeting the farthest away player and you will have to dodge it with a roadblock. The last mechanic in his kit is the opposite of what we started with. It's a whirlwind attack where you have to go purposely into melee range to not take any damage. Good job, you have defeated Gaitan and can loot his chest for 450 dungeon tokens. And as we all know, people that are subscribed to the channel have higher drop rates, so what are you waiting for? And if you still have any other questions, just let me know in the comments. As always, I will try to answer everything in less than 24 hours. Cheers, guys.